the University of Pittsburgh. One of the most inspiring aspects of commencement is the opportunity that it presents to confer our highest institutional honor on an individual who embodies the ideals of the University of Pittsburgh, among them high achievement, humanitarian commitment, and meaningful engagement in a life of purpose. Today, we are privileged to honor an individual who exemplifies all of those qualities, Dan Marino. We recognize Dan for his accomplishments on the playing field as we have done in other settings, but we also honor him for his broader achievements and contributions in business, in broadcasting, and in philanthropy. And we respectfully applaud in particular the dignity and grace that have unfailingly characterized his efforts, as well as the foundation of rich human values upon which he has built his success. For many, many years, Dan Moreno has been one of the most visible real world representatives of the University of Pittsburgh. And in that role, Dan has been a source of great pride for the people of Pitt in literally everything he has done. In fact, looking at the nearly three decades that have passed since Dan enrolled as a Pitt undergraduate, it would be difficult to identify any person who has been more broadly visible and entirely positive in the representation of his or her university. That, of course, did not just happen. Instead, important lessons about the way that life should be led were instilled right here in Oakland. As Dan has said in his autobiography, if you want to understand who I am and what I became, just walk down the Parkview Avenue of my youth. It taught family values. It also taught toughness, competitiveness, sacrifice, and the importance of hard work. Danny Marino, as he then was known to avoid any confusion with his father, Dan Marino Sr. was the oldest of three children born to hardworking and loving parents. His father drove the nighttime delivery newspaper truck and taught him not only to throw and to compete, but also such basic values as respect for others. His mother, Veronica Marino, was a school crossing guard and a constant source of inspiration and support. His sisters, Cindy and Debbie, shared his love of sport in the narrow streets, alleys, and playgrounds of his ethnically diverse blue-collar home community, the youngster with the industrial strength right arm learned the lessons of family, football, and life. It was at Central Catholic High School, also here in Oakland, that young Danny Marino began to receive national attention as a student athlete. He was a parade All-American in football. He also was drafted to play baseball by the Kansas City Royals and offered an alluring $35,000 signing bonus. However, after discussing it with his family and close friends, Dan decided that he could most clearly see his future from Central Catholic's practice field 
as he gazed up at Pitt's towering 42-story Cathedral of Learning. Reflecting on his years of college competition, which were characterized both by individual achievement and collective success, Dan has said, we were the best college football team I've seen. And in fact, the Sporting News has proclaimed the 1980 Panthers to be one of the greatest teams in the long history of college football. During his four seasons at Pitt, Dan led the team to four top 10 rankings and a remarkable 42 and six record, including victories in three of the four national bowl games in which he played. As a Panther, Dan broke nearly every passing record in school history. Indeed, more than 25 years after his final collegiate season, he still holds pit records for touchdown passes in a season and a career. He also set NCAA season and career records for passing attempts, completions, yardage, and touchdowns. He was an All-American and a Heisman Trophy finalist, and in 2002, after his career as a player had come to an end, he was inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. Dan graduated from Pitt with a Bachelor of Art degree 25 years ago in 1983. That same year, he was the first round pick of the Miami Dolphins in the National Football League draft. It did not take him long to provide clear and convincing evidence of the wisdom of that decision. In the first of 17 exciting and enormously successful NFL seasons, Dan threw 20 touchdown passes, was Rookie of the Year, led the Dolphins to the playoffs, and became the first rookie quarterback ever to start in the Pro Bowl. As a Dolphin, Dan played in 242 games, starting 240. He completed 60% of his pass attempts for 61,361 yards and 420 touchdowns. He was selected for nine Pro Bowls, seven as starter. When he retired in 1999, he held an amazing 25 NFL regular season records and was the NFL career leader in passing attempts, completions, yardage, and touchdowns. He was inducted in the, to the Professional Football Hall of Fame in 2005. The respect and popularity that Dan earned as a player led to his appearances in such cinema classics as Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, <laughs> Holy Man, <clears throat> Little Nicky, and Bad Boys too. That same popularity obviously also aided his transition into his current career as one of the country's most admired sports commentators. But as anyone who has seen him in action, either on HBO's Inside the NFL or CBS's The NFL Today, which averaged 18.7 million viewers last season, uh, knows that he has excelled in his current role, uh, not because he threw 420 touchdown passes, but because he is intelligent, uh, articulate, and in analytical, the qualities of a well-educated person. Sensitized to a compelling set of broader health issues by a challenge within their own family, uh, Dan and his wife Claire, who also is with us today, established the Dan Marino Foundation. 
Its noble mission is to impact autism by supporting treatment programs, outreach services, and research. In 1998, the Marinos joined with Miami Children's Hospital to establish the Dan Marino Center in Weston, Florida, serving more than 25,000 children annually the center is recognized both nationally and internationally for its ability to provide the finest integrative care for children with autism. Dan and Claire have received many awards, including Media, Medi Media's Public Service Award for Outstanding Contributions to Public Health, and Nova Southwestern, Southeastern University's award for outstanding contributions to the South Florida community. Last month, Florida Governor Charlie Crist appointed Dan co-chair of the Task Force on Autism Spectrum Disorders. Today, though, it is his own university's privilege to bestow upon Dan Marino an honor that recognizes his life of high achievement and broad impact. That process actually will make him the first member of your graduating class. To assist in the awarding of his honorary doctorate, I would like to invite Dr. James Marr, the provost of the university, and trustee vice chairs Susie Broadhurst and Bob Hernandez to join me at the podium, and I invite you to join me in extending a very special commencement welcome to a great Pitt Panther, Dan Marino. Dan, in recognition of your life of high achievement as an athlete, a business person, and a broadcast professional, and as a sign of our respect for the human values that have shaped your life and fueled your many good works, I hereby confer upon you, Dan Marino, the degree of Doctor of Broadcast Journalism, honoris causa, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> 